Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and today we're going to do a combat mission from Sherman Leader. That's the Solitaire uh, ground combat World War II where you're in control of the U.S. Uh, armor forces. And so I went ahead and went through all the setups on this and everything to save some time here. But I'll show you real quick. Uh, we're doing... Uh, Italy 1943 and then we're gonna do the uh, invasion so um, on this one we have uh, three weeks uh, for the campaign so depending on what we go up against we'll have the combats could be up to six of them um, for this mission for this uh, campaign so I already selected my forces um, as usual I did a random draw which gave me some interesting things I uh, took my points that I had available and I drew randomly the forces so I didn't get a lot of experience I got one experienced rifle team but everybody else is pretty standard I got one Sherman tank uh, group and then uh, I got some grants and uh, no field artillery, I got a mortar team. So kind of a interesting um, deal. So, and then I drew the uh, enemy battalions that I'm going up against. And then one of the other things that I'm using um, for this campaign is the optional uh, commander series that I also have. So this is the German commanders. So for every battalion, you draw a German commander card for that battalion. If you eliminate the battalion, He's gone. If the battalion goes down to half strength, he's permanently attached to that. So, um, in this campaign for this first battle, in the friendly staging area is this fast scout force, which is four armored cars. And I need to get rid of them because uh, they're going to cost me six SO points if I don't. So, I'm going against them, and the commander I drew for him was Erwin Rommel. So, he gets a command tank, which I had to add at the start of the battle in Hex 2. Until that's destroyed, all units gain plus one attacks and defense. So they're going to be harder to kill and they're going to hit better. One of the other things that we have, oops, wrong deck, in here, is in all my other uh, battalions, I have, of course, the one we're going against here. There's 9A, which is also in my friendly staging area. I need to get rid of him. Um, this mobile reserve, the forward base, infantry, assault force, and an infantry HQ. Now, this one adds one rifle to a random starting hex at the start of all battles. So until I get rid of that... They're always going to be an extra infantry unit. So I drew that. And it is right here. On the. Um, into this industrial. So interesting thing that happened when I drew my tiles. All right, you select your units first. You assign your units. You have your battle. Um, you pull your uh, special condition card. Which I did. So for this battle. They're uh, battle hardened. So subtract two stress from each of your skilled veteran ace commanders. Well, I don't have any of those. And then I have a vital mission. I gain plus one victory point if I destroy this battalion. But here's what happened. Um, this train back here, there's a road running through it. So I got the road. And then there's no cover back in here. So I have light cover here. And then I have this industrial area. So... It works out for me for cover, but I have to have four units. I have to have a unit in all four hexes to gain a victory point. Otherwise, I lose a victory point. So, <laughs> I'm going to gain one for my vital mission. I'm going to lose one because I don't. I didn't have four units. I only picked three when I started. So, I can't. I'm going to lose a victory point there. But uh, nicely, the event card gives me one if I can kill this battalion. So that worked out in my favor. A little bit um, I, the tank I drew for Rommel on the board over here uh, it tells you in 1943 and I have in my in my cup over here 
all these tanks. So there's five Panzer threes, four Panzer fours, one Tiger, and two Stugs. And so what would you think I would pull for the commander's tank? Of course, the one Tiger out of all those, that's who I get. So he's a tough tank. Rommel's got his good tank with his armored cars up here. And that's who I'm going up against. Okay, so I placed my turn counter. I'm not going to use my scouts uh, for this one because I think I should be able to get this one taken care of. I used a, uh, a US M4 Sherman, 75 millimeter gun. So he's got an AP of six and HE of six, and his range is three. And I gave him Lively as his armor commander. And the good thing there is he's a plus one whether he's in close or not. So I just got to keep him from getting shaken. I also have a rifle team. I took this because of that other rifle company. <clears throat> so they have an AP attack of eight, but they must be at range zero to use that. And they have HE attack of five, so they're pretty good. And I gave them Barry who's great at close combat, he gets three dice when they're at close combat instead of the normal two, and he's a plus two at range zero. So he's he's uh, got it going on. And then I have my anti-tank team, which I needed for these armored cars. They have a range of one, and um, they hit on a six. So they're as good a hit as my tank is. I just got to get in close with them. And then their commander is Chin, from the infantry and he's a plus one at range one and a zero there but he's cautious so he can't they can't move and fire at the same on the same turn <clears throat> which um works anyway i think so here's what i'm hoping happens we'll find out here in a minute but i'm hoping that the germans are aggressive and they come down this road to get in close and they'll get up close to me pretty fast um, and then I can uh, start hammering on these armored cars and get this thing taken care of quick before I suffer any stress or anything else. The first thing we have to do though, for the campaign, I need to roll uh, a D10. And if it's a one to five, then we use a D6 on the enemy tactical movements. If it's a six to 10, then we're gonna roll a D10, okay? So we're gonna do this roll. So here we come, and it is a five. So they're gonna use the D6. Actually, I wish they'd gotten the other one because I was hoping they'd be much more aggressive. It would have helped me stay in that industrial area, but that didn't happen. So, okay. So we just walked down through the steps now. We've placed our tiles, we've placed our friendly units on the back row and then the infantry could have moved two but i only moved him one up here my anti-tank unit moved one and then my uh, tank is right here and then i have rolled for all the german units um oddly enough the um they all went into these two hexes it was the strangest rolls but that's what they did and then on this uh battalion card the enemy units advanced by one all the armor units so the command tank then went into hex two that's where he starts at okay and then this infantry unit that i added because of the infantry hq was on this road so they moved to they get two movements before we start so we came down the road that counts as one he can go two hexes for a count of one and then into there so to me it's kind of cool because what it says in the game is that we moved into this industrial area and there was a German company, rifle company there also. So we're about to have some combat um, right out of the gate here. All right. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing happens is we do fast moving attack, which I have nobody's fast and I don't have any um, of the uh, tactics either. So I can't get the first shot on this infantry unit. So I'm gonna to have to endure what they're gonna to give to me. The next thing is roll for enemy move. Okay, so we're gonna roll. This is the six sided die. So here we go. It's a four and a four gives us here. Okay, so 
the first thing it says for the tank is tanks and a tank and armored car so my tank is advanced to cover so there is no cover that he can advance to so he's not going to move okay the armored cars are the same thing and they can't get to cover so they're not going to move all right so we have the rifle company and the rifle company is adjacent cover but it's the heaviest cover they're already in that they would not move away so they're going to stay right there all right so we're going to have our first battle they get two dice <clears throat> this is the enemy action on this they need a five or higher to hit okay and they're going to fire at the one that they have the best chance of hitting or killing because they're both in the same spot, the rifle team has a defense of three and the anti-tank team a defense of two. So they're gonna fire at the anti-tank team. So they have to have five or higher to hit. Okay, here we go. Five or higher to hit. Six and a four, that's one hit. Okay, now my defense is two and I get plus two because we're in the industrial area. So it's actually four. So I need four or less to avoid any damage two got it okay so they didn't get me <laughs> okay well here we go the uh my rifle team's attacking this rifle company i need i need five or higher to hit we are plus two to my die roll and I've got the close combat skill which means I get to roll an extra die so I get three dice I need five or higher and it's plus two to my dice okay I got a ten a seven and a two the two plus two is four so I got two hits all right the Germans are three they get plus one for their defense, so four, and they're in this heavy cover. So six or lower, they survive. Two and a nine, I got him. Man, that was close. Okay, so the Germans, I flipped the German over. He's done. All right, so I'll use my anti-tank team, which I'm not gonna move, and my armor is going to, he's going to move up to here and he can move and fire it's minus attack minus one when he moves so here's the the tank his range of three one two three so he can fire at the armored cars so he's going to fire at range three minus one attack when moving so i need a I need a six or higher to hit, minus one to the die, plus one for my skill at range of greater than one. That nullifies the movement. And at range three, we are <clears throat> sorry, I'm looking. Range modifiers under here. At range three, it's minus two. Okay. So I need six or higher, get two dice, and it's minus two to the die rolls. Here we go. I got a six and a two, so he missed. Okay, so that hurts, that range, that, that part of it hurt. Okay, and that is the end of turn one. So we go to turn two. Okay, first thing we do, I don't have any fast attacks. So we roll for the enemy, see what they're gonna get. So here comes the enemy die roll. It's a one. So the armor, they all hold, and the infantry's dead. So they're not gonna do anything, and they're not in range to do anything. Okay. One, two, three. See, if I stay back here, and this is this is where it's it's really tough because I need to get in close to kill these guys. Um, with with my infantry unit and my anti-tank team 
and they're just not cooperating here. And if I sit here, I don't think I'm gonna get them, but I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna do an armor attack right here onto this armored car. Okay, this time I didn't move. So I need a six or higher. I'm plus one on my die roll, and because of the range is three, I'm minus two. Okay. So here we go. So minus two for the range, plus one for my skill, so it's minus one on my roll. Okay. I got an eight and a three, so I scored one hit. Okay, so they roll. Now the armored car. He is a two on his defense and he gets one because of Erwin Rommel. So he needs a three or less to survive. Three, oh, I didn't kill him. Man, I had a shot at him that time. Okay, now I have to decide what to do here. One, two, one, two. I can move out this direction and try to flank over here with these guys. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I got to get them in close to to do something here. Okay, so I'm sending them out into danger here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is the end of turn two. We're going into turn three. All right, we got a roll for the German tactical movement, and he gets a four. So it's advanced to covers and they don't have any cover that they can move into, so they don't advance. Okay. Now, the Germans can fire here, and they're gonna fire, this This first armored car is gonna fire at my anti-tank team, and the, and the commander tank's gonna be able to fire also. Okay. So, they need a five. Sorry. They need a six or higher to hit. Range is two, so that's minus one, and they get plus one from the commander, so it's straight up six or higher to hit. Here we go. A five and a nine. So they got one hit. This is on my anti-tank team, again. So he needs, his defense is two, and that's all he has. So he needs a two or less um, to not take a hit. He got a 10. Okay, so now we have to draw to see what he's going to suffer here. Hopefully nothing. So I have a cup of everything and he gets the commander got wounded. Great. Okay, that, that's survivable. Okay, this armored car is firing at the anti-tank team. Two dice same deal. He needs a six or higher straight up die roll. He got an eight and an eight. That's two hits. And I need twos or less um, to avoid any damage. I got a two and a three. So one. So I take one hit again. So a casualty. So this goes on the team. If they get a second casualty, then it kills that team. Okay. So I'm still surviving. All right, the third in a tank or in a armored car firing range two. Well, here he goes. <clears throat> He's going to be um, he needs a six or higher to hit, and straight up eight and a five. We got one hit. Of course, I need the two or less to. Anything I got a five, so I take another hit. So these armored cars are sitting there, and we moved out, and they're causing me some headaches here. And it is mowed down. That's it. I just lost my anti tank team. That's 9 12. They're gone. So we killed them. All right, they got eliminated. Bad news. <laughs> very bad, very bad. I lost my armor there. All right. And now the tank, the commander's tank and fire at the infantry unit. The tiger is a three or higher to hit. He's at range three, so he's gonna be plus 
minus two, but he gets plus one because of the commander, so he's minus one. He needs three or higher to hit at minus one. Six and a two, he only got one hit, and I need a three or less. Eight. So now, my rifle team taking a hit, and it is no effect. All right, so the tiger didn't do anything to him. Okay, here we go. I gotta decide what to do here. <clears throat> that tiger scares the heck out of me. My armor unit is firing at this armored car. I'm at range three. If I need a six or higher, plus one to my die and minus two for the range. So I'm minus one. Six or higher, minus one. Three and an eight. I scored a hit. Now the question is, can I kill it? He's a two. He gets plus one on his defense for the commander. So I need three. He, they need three or less to survive. Six. Killed that armored car. That's the first one down. Okay. My infantry unit is on this road. He can move. We can move two of those. He's moving into the hex with these guys. Minus two attack when moving. Can only use AP at round at zero. One stress if moving attack. Okay, I think uh, we have to do that. We're going to take a stress. He gets a moving attack because he's at range zero. It nullifies the the um, the move penalty. <clears throat> you gain your moving attack penalty at range zero. So I'm at range zero. I'm at close combat. I get three dice attacking an armored car. I need a eight or higher to hit. He's plus two for the commander. Eight or higher, and he plus two to my rules. Ten, a seven and two is nine, and a six and two is eight. That's three hits on that armored car. He has to have threes on all three of these three lords. Ten, seven, I killed that armored car. So I got one down, another one down. Really, if I get one more, this mission's over. Okay. It's turn four. Things are dicey. Okay, we got to roll for the Germans. See what they're going to do here. It's a one. They hold. So they're not going anywhere. They're staying right there. Okay. Two, four, and he's a three. So that's seven. Yep. I have to get him down to two. I have to kill both those armored cars. Uh, there's a rule for that. Um, commander's tank cards. I think. Let's see. Sorry, I'm pulling this out. I just, I, I need to do it real quick. Look, I don't think it, um, is in this this is the uh that comes in here commander's abilities yep nationalities bunkers commander bonus only fix the enemy units okay battalion is destroyed the commander joins okay yep i knew that okay there is um I'll tell you what, I'll be right back. I'm going to look in the rule book for uh, when we add a unit like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I'm back. So when you add extra units, it adds to these um, numbers right here, the four and the two. The four says that if I get this unit strength, battalion strength down to four, he's at half strength and it affects his tactical movement. And if I get him down to two, he's eliminated. But I added an infantry unit that's one, so that makes that number five and three. And I add this tank, which is a three, which makes that eight, 
and six. Right now I'm at seven. I got to kill one more armored car and this is over. And the battalion, which is 3A, right here, he now flips over in the red line. He's on half strength. So from now on, he, on his tactical moves, he goes minus uh, two when he's at half strength. So we're going to roll and see what their tactical movements are now with us attacking. Uh, they get a five. Minus two is a three. So they advance to cover, which they don't have any. So they won't be advancing. Okay. So here we go. The Germans are going to attack. We'll start with the armored car right here. Oops. Sorry. He is needs a six or higher. We're in the same hex. There's no modifier. He gets two dice. He needs six or higher to hit. And he got eight and six, two hits on my infantry unit. Okay, I need threes or less. Seven and a 10, two hits, okay. Whatever that one is, I'll take it, whatever. Let's see, it is exposed, okay. Exposed is plus two to, to be hit starting next turn until the unit moves. All right. And then the other one is exposed again. So it only gets one exposed. Okay. So that armored car didn't get me. This one's firing. He's at range one. There's no modifier. So he needs a six or higher to hit. He got a nine and a four. So that's one hit. I need a three or less to avoid any damage. One, all right. No damage from that armored car. And the commander's tank is attacking me. He needs a three or higher. He's plus one. Oh, I should have been adding plus one's name, but I can't go back now. Plus one, he needs a three or higher, plus one. 10 and a five, he got two hits. Okay, so we roll. I need threes or less. Three and a five. I only took one hit from that commander's tank. Okay. And we get suppressed. Okay. You're going to have to use that. We'll see if I have to use it or not because... I can fire my Sherman can fire there and he needs six or higher he's plus one for the commander skill and he's minus two for the range so it's minus one I need six or higher minus one six and a one so that's a five I did not hit now my infantry company okay to get rid of the suppression it um, suffer one stress or cannot attack. So we'll flip our stress over. Oh, <laughs> flip our stress over from one to two. Put that on Barry. He's good up to three. We can take the suppression marker off of him. And I have to kill this armored car. Man, this is a big risk, but where I can move and get rid of that exposed. And I think that's what he's gonna do. So he won't suffer that penalty. He gets rid of the exposed. And now we're going to attack this armored car. I get three dice for my close combat. I get plus two because I am my commander skill. And the minus one got offset by moving into the same hex as this armored car. So I need eights or higher. This is a tough one. I need eights or higher to hit. I got a 10, a nine, and a six plus two is eight. So I got three hits on the armored car and I think that's gonna do it, I hope. He needs threes or lower. 
seven seven eight killed it and that's the game okay we finished we completed the mission oh and so i kill the battalion so i eliminate that battalion it comes off the board now and that's the end of the first battle of the first day of the first week of the campaign there will be a second week come up um, when we play again Rommel's eliminated I'm going to gain three SO points for that so I have a spreadsheet that I'm going to enter all this information in I lost a unit and a commander they got killed and then Lively will pick up two stress for the mission and he has a cool of one so that's only going to be one and Barry's going to pick up two more and a cool of zero so he's in the shaking zone after the mission so he's going to need some time um, to get back uh, get fit again so as you can see it played very easily uh, we were able to do that oh I have to do um, that one's going to nullify that and I have to have my end of mission um, event card enemy convoy you may inflict one stress on each commander to gain one victory point Ooh, yeah I think I'm gonna do that because it's only two commanders but I gain a whole nother victory point so instead of two victory points for this I'm gonna get three because of that event and that's what we're gonna do Okay, so I'm going to go fix the spreadsheet, total everything up, and then we'll come back and we'll play uh, a second battle where I have to go against uh, 9A, which is also in my friendly staging area because i got to get rid of them guys, get rid of those uh, SO points they're going to get when they do the move at the end of the week. Okay, so hope you liked it. Hope you see kind of how the game's playing a little bit. And then um, we'll... Uh, if you like if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and I'll see you guys later thanks